Good morning, pandas. You're listening to KEEP News with your host, Anne and Winifred, where we give you the news that is worth waking up for. Now over to Winifred with our first story. Computer hacking is illegal, but one U.S. hacking group is trying to use their evil talent for good. ISIS conspirators post propaganda, share video beheadings, and add members to their group via encryptions. The American government can't crack all of their codes. However, Anonymous, a U.S.-based hacking group, is actually making progress. Let's see what they have to say. ISIS, we will hunt you, take down your sites, accounts, emails, and expose you. From now on, no safe place for you online. You will be treated like a virus, and we are the cure. These patriotic techies are currently working to take down ISIS online. Thank you, Winifred. America currently has over 2.2 million people in jail or prison. 48.3% of inmates are convicted of drug-related crimes. In fact, America has more jails than colleges. But agents can't seem to keep one man incarcerated. More on this from Jack Pan. U.S. federal agents continue to search for the infamous Mexican drug lord, El Chapo, who broke out of a maximum security prison for at least the second time in July of 2015. El Chapo is now presumed to be in the U.S., where proof of his multi-billion dollar drug empire is most prevalent. El Chapo is believed to be worth $4 billion and is notorious for a lifestyle that includes Ferraris and exotic cats as house pets. The current reward for his arrest is $3 million. Thanks, Jack. As lawmakers legalize forms of marijuana, will drug-related arrests decrease? We'll bring you more on that story in tomorrow's Nation Outlook. Moving forward, let's roll over to our sports expert, Ben Boo, for a closer look into Super Bowl 50. Deflakey. The 100 seconds Jim McNally spent deflating seven footballs used by the Patriots to increase reception odds and then lose their first round draft picks this season. What steps are being taken to avoid similar pandemonium in 2016? Five teams are left in the running for the 2016 Super Bowl, and although it's not exciting, officials are on camera ensuring that game balls are inflated within 12.5 and 13.5 pounds. Thank you, Ben. Up next, think nothing ever happens in Iowa? Well, you will be pleasantly surprised with our next story. Also, stick around for a Keeps Weather Report and a special guest. But first, a word from our sponsor. Are you struggling to make it through the school day? Do your eyes close on their own? Have you ever been yelled at for falling asleep in class? Well, make your way down to the Student Council Ran Coffee Shop Star Panda, located in the cafeteria. Committed to making your school day bearable, they're open every morning before school starts. Part of the proceeds go towards Panda Preservation Incorporated to help protect and save panda bears. Each cup of coffee is just one dollar. You'll be saving money and the life of a panda every sip of the way. Welcome back, pandas. Now, let's take a look at some local news over with Ann. A local business owner standing roadside with a sign that said, Offered these guys a job? They said no, don't give money. The two beggars standing next to him with broken hunger signs prompted this action after choosing to decline the man's offer. The business owner hopes to raise awareness about individuals trying to take advantage of the generosity of others. With that aside, let's take a look at the weather report with Sunny Sam. Unseasonably warm weather continues today. The sun will bring a high of 52 and a low tonight of only 45. Looking forward to the rest of this week, we can expect to stay in the 50s. Enjoy the warm weather now, though. Our two-week forecast shows snow on the horizon. We will give you the details tonight in our extended forecast. We are now joined by our special guest, Richard Good, with us today from Panda Preservation Incorporated. So, Richard, what can everyday people do to help the pandas? Well, we appreciate any and all donations. Or, if you would rather get involved, we are always looking for volunteers to help keep our shelter up and running. I'm sure our listeners will love that information. On a related note, what do you do with the money raised? What exactly do people's donations go towards? The money goes towards maintenance and expansion of the shelter itself. It also goes towards the specialized organic foods we feed the pandas. And it covers all medical expenses of the animals. We keep them in very healthy, safe conditions. 
our goal is to save these majestic and lovable creatures. Of course. Thank you, Richard, for coming in. For you listeners, a link to the Panda Preservation Incorporated is on our school website. This year alone, our school has been able to donate over $300 to Panda Preservation Incorporated. For more information on any story you have heard today, or to voice your thoughts on today's show, visit our website. And with that, our broadcast has come to a close. Be sure to tune in again to KEEP News for more stories that will restore your faith in humanity. Until then, I'm Anne, simply saying, have a great day. And I'm Winifred, reminding you that we are on every morning, same time, same station, and advising you to keep looking on the bright side.